Hey, you want fun? Mario show you fun. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome back to Nintendo Prime and stop. Hey, look, did you tell him yet? <laughs> of course you did. Why? Uh, we're giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner. All you have to do is head down okay. to that gleam.io link down yeah. in the description. I literally don't know why this fat bastard over here didn't tell you about it, but uh, whatever. I just had to travel from the future to let you know because he forgot to put it in the video. <laughs> Well, now that that's out of the way, let's actually get into today's news. We got three stories for you, and I can't wait to share them with you. The first one being about Fist, oh, what is it? Sorry. Fist, Forged in Shadow Torch. It's actually an indie game that came out last year on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 back in September, and it's a Metroidvania style game. It looks really, really cool. Badass rabbit, it's, I don't know. It, it just looks like a really, really fun game. And the good news is that it was rated for uh, by the Taiwanese rating board for Nintendo Switch. And we get a lot of games leaking for Switch in this manner, whether it's from the ESRB, Taiwan, Japan, uh, sometimes even out in Europe. So there's a whole bunch of ratings boards that exist out there that you know rate these games before they come out. And it hasn't been announced yet. Maybe it's being announced at a future indie world or something, we have no idea. But yes, this game is coming to Switch. We don't know when, but it's just exciting to see a quality title. It actually reviewed quite well. And if you enjoy Metroid, you enjoy Castlevania, this is gonna be the kind of game for you. The visual style, by the way, looks mwah. Like this is not a game that was holding back visually, despite being a side-scrolling experience. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, you know, this might actually be one that squeezes in in between my play sessions of things like Nintendo Switch Sports and Splatoon 3. Like, you know, when I need something a little bit different since I'm already done with Metroid Dread, this could actually be a nice little filler game. So I don't know what the price point's going to be, but I guess we'll have to just wait and see when this game is actually announced, which I presume is coming sometime in the next month or two. Next up, we're going to be talking about Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Uh, this is a DLC, or I guess I'd call this an expansion pack at this point for Monster Hunter Rise. Now look, they did a live digital show earlier today, and I'm not gonna go into all those details. I already did a live reaction to it. I'll link down in the description if you guys wanna go watch that. But what I will note is some stuff we've learned since then. And that, well, I mean, I'll give you the release date anyways. It comes out on June 30th. And what they didn't reveal though was the price. And I thought this was really strange. I actually criticized it at the time. Why the hell wouldn't you reveal the price during this event unless the price was gonna be something that would get a negative reaction. And now we know what the price is. You can actually pre-order this DLC right now. If you bought it physically or digitally, you can pre-order it on the Nintendo Switch eShop right now for $39.99. Oh, but by the way, we're not done. There's also a digital deluxe version that's $49.99 that includes, hold on, let me, let me make sure I get this right, featured layered armor sets, gestures, and hairstyles. You pay an extra 10 bucks for that, so that's great. Oh, and by the way, there's a $99 version. That's the collector's edition, and with that you get well, all of that, plus a steelbook, plus an amiibo. Yeah, there was new amiibo announced today for the game. Uh, I don't think that these are bad on the surface. It's just pricey for being DLC. Then again, I did note while live reacting that this looked like an entirely new Monster Hunter game just being slapped on as DLC, which to me is an expansion pack. And expansion packs are much larger, greater in scope, and thus pricier. At least that's what it was when I grew up. When I got expansion packs for things like Age of Empires growing up, they were massive deals and yeah, would cost almost as much as the base game. Same thing happens with like World of Warcraft. You literally paid the same price as the original game to get the latest expansion packs because they're such a big big content addition to the game. So I'm not so sure if I'm criticizing that this is expensive because I think it might actually be worth the price, but I do think it's strange that they announced it comes out June 30th and that it would you know, be available for pre-order today, but then they couldn't actually tell us the price during the show. Just strange, and I wasn't the only one. Imran Khan and a lot of other gaming journalists thought it was really weird that you're making this available to pre-order today but wouldn't announce the price during the show. Uh, again, I think they thought there would be some backlash, and there has been some, of course, because this is one of the more expensive DLCs out there. I do think it'll end up being worth the price, and I think Capcom's earned our faith with Monster Hunter, although that digital deluxe with the extra like cosmetic things, I don't know, I think that's asking a little bit much, but uh, hey, you know what? This is what a lot of companies are doing, so I guess I can't hold it against them too bad. All right, and our second to last story, really our last major news story anyways, deals with 
Silk Song, Hollow Knight Silk Song. We've been waiting for an update for this game since 2019. I got to play it in person at E3. It was still one of my favorite games to play at E3 2019, but we've heard nada since. Not even a minute fraction of an update, no sniff of a trailer, no sniff of, is it in development hell? Is it actually going really well? Nothing, we have heard nothing. It's like the game doesn't exist. Well, that is until today. So Mikado Koji, or Mikado, I don't know how to pronounce uh, the name exactly, the voice actress for Hornet, from this game shared a quick update on Silk Song's progress via Instagram in response to a fan asking if she's still working on Silk Song. Makoto said, or Makedo uh, said, that she's finished up her work with the game. Now, there's not a ton of voice acting in uh, in the original Hollow Knight, so I don't suspect that there's a ton of voice acting in this. I'm not sure that this gives us much of a firm grasp of if this game's coming soon, if it's not coming for a while, is it in development hell? Just that her work is complete. So I look, I don't really understand where this is going, what this means, but what I do understand is it's something. It's Hollow Knight Silk Song news. It's real news, a real update about the game. So I guess we finally made that little baby step forward. We now have something. It's better than nothing. So I guess we'll just have to wait to see what happens next. And the last thing I have to share with you today is actually an update on our E3 2022 coverage. So for starters, we did a massive show last year and we're bringing it back this year. We already talked about this briefly before. We actually had over 350 people last year walk away with a free giveaway item from our show. 18,000 people turning in every single day. We had lots of stuff. We had video game contests. We had challenges between me and my co-host, hot chip challenge, whole bunch of crazy stuff that was a lot of fun, special guests. And we're gonna up the ante this year, even more special guests even more challenges i could tell you right now uh we have officially locked in N N nintendo academy aka mike perez is coming on for at least two segments during it who knows maybe more we got to kind of see how we want to structure things but he will be part of it so he's our first guest locked in and i'm sure we'll have many others we had andres restart on last year i kind of presume andres that you're going to be coming back on if not it's okay but we'll work that all out uh but what I wanted to also talk about is that we are expanding it to cover Summer Game Fest as well. So last year we had a four day event, including Summer Game Fest this year could lead to it being a five, six or seven day event. We don't really know. Obviously the sooner we know the better. So I can start making plans with my children and babysitters and everything else in between. But I wanted to announce a couple giveaway items for that show already uh, to give you an idea of some stuff. And we like to feature um, art uh, during that a lot. So we have this art here by Railing Graphics. Uh, this is some Pokemon art here. Uh, and then we also have some Star Fox art here. Uh, and this will probably just be many of several art items that we will give away during the event. Uh, also, I wanted to note to anyone out there who's an artist or has an Etsy shop or anything like that, uh, if you would like to actually contribute and or offer us discounts on items for those giveaways in, in exchange for promotion, uh, just reach out to giveaway at nintendoprime.net. That's what I said, giveaway at nintendoprime.net. Uh, reach out to us and see you know if we can make some sort of partnership here uh, to get your products in front of more fans make them happy you get a little promotion in return um, because obviously I'm not always so sure who is willing to who is unwilling to work with us will obviously reach out to other companies game developers indie developers but uh, we obviously would prefer that to have more and more art pieces that are not just what I could typically walk in and buy somewhere um, we're looking for some really unique items last year we actually had glass canning company partner with us and they sent us a whole bunch of these custom made um, wood things that were just amazing and people went wild for and I'd love to have even more stuff like that this year so I'm really kind of throwing it out there that if you have to be an artist that makes these unique items on Etsy or some other related shop, uh, why not reach out to us? I'm not even saying you have to provide these products for free. We are willing to pay for them, but obviously we would love to partner up so we can get as many of these items at a, the most cost-effective way as we can to give away. Now we are investing a ton of money into these giveaways, a ton of money into equipment and the look and everything else to do with this show. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, I'm just, I'm excited to get starting with real work on it. And the real work begins, well really today as we start to partner up, but the leg work begins once we have dates. Because once we have dates, the shows actually get set up and the planning begins. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime and I'll catch you in the next video.